بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ویئرس ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ڈی جی لرنر پارٹس ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹرائی مائی بیسٹ ٹو پرووائڈ پرووائڈ یو دا سولیوشن آف جی ڈی بی ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی سبجیکٹ پین سکس تھرٹی انالیسس اینڈ پورٹ فولیو مینجمنٹ اٹ از دی فرسٹ جی ڈی پی آف دس سبجیکٹ اینڈ اٹس کلوزنگ ڈیٹ از فرائیڈے جنوری ٹوئنٹی سیون ٹوئنٹی Uh, for you, I am directly dive into the uh, question section or uh, GDP question discussion sections and then I will jump into the requirements uh, to prepare the solution of this GDP. So let's start. Mr. Muhammad always wanted to start his own business of dealing in uh, computers. Therefore, he managed to save some funds from last few years. He accumulated around rupees 10 lakhs in this tenure. He bought a land for shop for his computer business for rupees 4 lakhs. Unfortunately, the things did not go as planned with the inflation in the recent times. Almost all the remaining rupees 6 lakhs were spent on the construction and furniture of the shop. Now he is left with almost no cash, so he intends to purchase computers on credit. The cash price of computers are rupees 500,000, means 5 lakhs. Uh, two options are available to him. The first option is to purchase computer installments and pay the vendor shopkeeper rupees 150,000 at the end of every year for five years. The second option is to get loan of rupees 500,000 from HPL and pay loan to bank in five end of the year. Equal installments where bank charges uh, interest at 180 rupees per day. Requirement. Uh, calculate the annual yearly interest rate for the first option. Note, use present value of annuity ordinary formula for the first option. The present value interest factor table is available in the download section of the course. Second, calculate the annual yearly interest rate for the second option. Note, assume 360 days in a year. Part 3, which of the option is better for Mr. Muhammad? Uh, you must support your answer by showing all necessary calculation for both options. So, uh, before uh, going to the solution, I am going to mention here that I am going to use three approaches. First, this uh, annuity ordinary formula to determine the uh, interest rate based on the hit and trial method. After that, I am going to use interpolating approach to find the uh, real uh, annual base interest rate. It means three uh, formulas are to be used or three approaches are to be used. Ordinary annuity formula, then hit and trial method and then lastly uh, interpolating formula. So let's move to the solution. I have prepared this solution in Excel to save my time. This is my first option. So present value is given which is 500,000 rupees. Annual payment is 150,000. Number of years are 5 and this I, I is the rate that I am going to be determined. Uh, before proceeding further, I am going to share with you that uh, hit and trial method demands uh, time consumption. It is not easy to determine first shot. So you have to be spent or invest some time to reach the value of the uh, two values of the interest rate which is lowest and highest. So uh, you start with putting any arbitrary value of interest rate here. In this formula which is mentioned in the GDP situation or requirement I am going to use the same one by putting arbitrary or suppose uh, value of i here and how I am going to read this one because I am forget to uh, written down here the equal sign it means the both sides are equal I know this side which is equal to 500,000 so I am interested to find out that value of interest rate which equates uh, right hand side with the uh, left hand side which is equal to 500,000 rupees. So, uh, first I am going to use uh, this uh, 1.523 which uh, which has given me this amount. How I uh, determine this? Uh, before I am going to discuss it, I am going to uh, share with you that I have separate this into two portions. The first, one, uh, first one this one and the second one this one. So, it is obtained by using the formula uh, by uh, using the component of this formula, this one, so I will get this uh, 0.51. This is a second uh, component of the formula of the right hand side, which is C5 CF divided by ICF means cash flows, 
and I will get this amount after that I am going to multiply these two components here so I will get this amount 500,097.18 rupees this will be uh, related to the loss uh, 1.523 after that I am going to use and other uh, interest rate which is greater than uh, this one uh, to reduce the amount from 500,000 to near to uh, uh, <coughs> 500,000 but in a downward direction so I have increased the interest rate um, by 0 0.0001 now I am going to use 0.1524 which is greater than one, uh, previous one so I will get this 499.979.21 it means two steps are two approaches are completed here first one is the ordinary annuity formula and the interpolating oh, sorry hit and turn method approach now I am going to use the third approach here which is interpolating approach for this purpose I am going to uh, use uh, this technique interpolating uh, technique so uh, what I am going to do I am going to do <coughs> uh, get the difference of these two values so the value of this 27.18 so uh, here it is possible to get the difference but it is not possible here to get the difference because here we don't know the value of i so I am going to suppose it is equal to x is equal to 0 0.1523 minus 1 which is equal to 97.18 then <clears throat> the difference between lowest and highest then I will get 0 0.001 and its value is 117.97 one more important thing or element to be noted here that I am just getting the difference not I am subtracting the one uh, value from the other value so uh, negative sign doesn't matter here because we are interested in getting the value from the difference point of view <clears throat> so by next approach uh, I am going to use this formula x divided by li minus hi uh, this one uh, li lowest interest rate and highest interest rate is equal to l this difference amount and highest difference amount then this one and this one so what I am going to do this see this one d12 uh, this is d12 divided by d13 I will get this one I am going to multiply uh, this amount with the 0 0.001 this actually it is a uh, denominator of the left hand side so we will get this value 0 0.08 after that d15 yes b15 okay after that i am going to d12 almost this I am repeating this one here sorry for this so th this is uh, D18 and D15 and this is D18 and D15 this figure and this figure is same so I will get this value and uh, here I know that 0.1523 minus I I will take this figure from uh, left hand side to right hand side after subtracting this I will get minus 0.15221 this minus this minus cancel and finally I will read the uh, I value which equates the left hand side, right hand side with the left hand side which is 15.22 percent now I will move to the uh, option number two where moment the process to bank to get the loan of 500,000 and uh, pay back loan in uh, five years with equal installment along with the uh, interest amount PV same annual amount is 164,000 how I determine this see this is a uh, interest charges by the bank on daily basis 180 rupees per day number of days in the year that is d1 multiplied by this this so this is amount that he pays in in context of interest charges so uh, if you divide 500,000 in five equal installments because the number of years are five that this figure we will get here sum up so it is equal to 164,800 same amount I have written here same approach I am going to use here as I applied in option number one part one uh, parenthesis first parenthesis then uh, cf our divided uh, cf divided by i uh, component multiplied by both then we will get the resultant value at this amount again this is 500.0.97 at point 0.1935 so i am going to be uh, get another amount which is less than uh, 500,000 uh, as close to as possible so 0 0.1934 97 and 0 0.1935 same 
so we will get uh, the 499.986.27 triple one zero seven the same uh, interpreting approach is applying here difference and manifest 0.001 uh, regarding interest the same approach is here so i will get here 19.33 percent by comparing the interest rate determined part one and part two i found that uh, the interest rate i have determined in part option one or part one is less than 19.33 so which is 15.22 percent so women must have to go with option one uh, that is purchase computers on credit from uh, vendors or shopkeepers uh, which pay installment annually on uh, on annual basis equal to 150%. Thanks for watching. If you found any uh, mistake regarding calculation, please mention in the comment mm -hmm. section. Or if you want to uh, contribute your ideas, or suggestions, or advice to make uh, solution better, so please come up with your ideas in comment sections. And remember, <coughs> don't copy it. It's just an idea that gives you a guideline to how to solve the uh, GDP. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.